2008 has seen the biggest changes take place in the motor trade for many years. Recently, a completely new taxation scheme was introduced to VRT and road tax. Essentially to encourage buyers of new cars to consider their carbon emissions rather than engine size and power output, this new system has a range of seven tax bands from low to high premiums depending on the CO2 figures of the cars. The brands have reacted to the global oil crisis as the world's oil reserves start to dry up. On Ignition, I have looked at electric hybrids like the Toyota Prius, the Lexus 450 and 600 hybrids, a range of bioethanol powered Volvos, even the all-electric Reva i and the Honda Petrol Electric Civic IMA hybrid. But the real winner in the fuel race is diesel. Ford tell me that the emphasis on their products is going from 30% to 60% diesel. That's a huge swing. And more and more diesel cars are coming on stream. Fiat last year introduced the cutesy little Cinquecento and recently gave us the 1.4 multi-jet diesel version. This falls into tax band A and has road tax of only 100 euro per annum. Honda were one of the first to introduce diesel cars to the C segment and recently introduced this, the Honda Civic. This has a 2.2 litre diesel engine, but it's got to take on some pretty stiff competition in the segment. The C segment includes cars like the Audi A3 and the Volkswagen Golf and quite a lot of other strong contenders. So Honda had to come up with something really good. I think they have. Take a look. Diesel engines today are smooth and quiet. Long gone is the clatter and smell because these cars have become very refined, as has the fuel. The Honda Civic has a 2.2 litre engine called the ICTDI or Whispering Diesel. Even though this engine develops a hearty 138 brake horsepower at 4000 rpm and can deliver you up to 62 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds, it still returns a fuel economy of over 55 miles per gallon. That's pretty good. A question I get asked a lot is, what are the carbon emissions like? Well, this one has a figure of 135 grams per kilometre. That puts it into tax van B with an annual road tax of 150 euro. And the VRT is 16%. There are cars in the same segment with the same size engine running on petrol that have road tax of 2,000 euro per year. That's 1,850 more than this diesel Honda. Good reason for going diesel. Diesel engines can run much further on a fill-up. One of the new Peugeots can go for over 2,000 miles without a fill-up. Must have a huge fuel tank. Available in six-speed manual transmission only, Honda expect the new Civic to take off next year. Limited supplies available, but the price is €27,995. This includes very high spec, vehicle stability control and side and curtain airbags, and highly spec inside too. Exterior, lovely 16-inch alloy wheels. Diesel is definitely the way forward in the segment. The Honda Civic 5-door is a 2-litre diesel. It falls into tax band B, with road tax of €150, Euro, and the price is €27,995. Euro. Another one in the class is the Audi A3, 2-litre diesel. This falls into tax band A, with road tax of €100. Euro. The price is €27,370. The Volkswagen Golf has a 1.9 litre diesel engine. It falls into tax band B with road tax of €150 Euro, and the price is €24,715.